Hello everyone, today we will be seeing about a transistor that is an IRF540 transistor. So as you can see, this is an IRF540 transistor. First off, this is a MOSFET transistor which is a special kind. Unlike BGT which is a current control, the MOSFET is a voltage control device. So the MOSFET has a gate, a drain, a source. So instead of a base, collector and emitter terminals in a bipolar transistor that is in a BGT. So this has a 3 pin as you can see here 3 pins. So one of them acts as a gate, one of them acts as a drain and one of them acts as a source. So by applying voltage at the gate it generates an electrical field to control the current flow through the channel between drain and source and there is no current flow from the gate into the MOSFET. This advanced MOSFET is designed to withstand high energy in the avalanche and commutation modes. This new energy efficient design also offers a drain to source diode with a fast recovery time. So it is specially designed for low voltage, high speed switching application in power supplies, converters and PWM that is pulse width modulation motor controls. These devices are particularly suited for bridge circuits where diode speed and commutation space operating area are critical and offer additional safety margin against unexpected voltage transients. And if you don't know about the transistor at all, so there are a 3 led components which has two simple functions. So this is a 3 led, it just has two simple functions to switch or amplify. So you can, as I said, it has a grate, a drain and a source. So basically we have an in that is called the source. So that is where you give the input and out called the drain and a control called the gate which in which you control the flow of voltage through this. So when you send a high signal to the gate, that is the control pin, the transistor switches and allows current to flow from the source to the drain. So that is, we give from the gate, that is the high signal is given to the gate, that is the control pin and allows the current flow from the source to the drain. And this does also have certain limitations. So what are the limitations? Any transistor does have a limitation. So transistors like IR540 are really great for controlling high power devices from any microcontrollers but they do have certain limitations so this current configuration is only useful for switching DC current so this is a voltage configuration so it is used for DC current so don't try this with an AC source also MOSFET have both voltage and ampere current limitations and can handle up to 60 volt and the amperage is limited to 30 amps so this works only up to 30 amps so a maximum current of 33 volts and plus or minus 20 volts can be given for this. So anything or a few amps especially when the current is constant and not short pulses. Now we will see a simple demonstration of how we can control the motor with this IR540 transistor. Now a simple demonstration of this IC540N IRF. So here we can see this transistor. So this transistor, the first pin is the gate and the second pin is the drain and the third pin is the source. So the control pin that is the gate as you can see here is that is which we control the input. And the next thing is we have the drain to the source. From the drain we give it to the from the source to the drain. So we'll just see a simple demonstration of how. So here I connected the gate. So it is in fitting properly. We need to make sure we fit in correctly. Yes, it gets fit. Okay, so here for this experiment I have an Arduino which is the controller and I have 
12 volt battery supply and I have a motor 5 volt DC motor supply so and I have a 1k resistor you can see here a 1k resistor and we have a 10k resistor so now we'll just see how a motor is being controlled okay so first initially we give the connection that is in the Arduino we take the ninth pin so from the ninth pin we give to please here so from this I connect a resistor that is a 1k resistor towards this so the 9 pin is being given from the gate so from the gate we gave a 1k resistor and from there we are given the 9th pin of the Arduino and the ground here we can see this is the ground so the ground is being given to the ground and the next thing for this again we ground one of it so one of the sides of the motor is grounded and the next we have a 10k resistor so this 10k resistor we give here and now we we'll just connect and just check it out so here we give the power supply so the power supply is positive now the battery is given to one of the sides of the motor it isn't fitting properly so make sure it fits in inside properly yes so it gets no sorry it doesn't get ok so now we get in a good connection so now this one from the game to the circular room and we ground it here so this is ground and now the left over this the ground so here we can see the ones I give So here we can see the control, see it blinks constant. So we have written a code to control the flow and reduce. It rotates, wait for some time. Again rotates, okay. so in this way we can control the flow of the DC motor to IRF 540. Thank you for watching this video.